Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Baseball Hobby Edition. 12 box, pick your team at number four. Right there, we got Chris over my shoulder. He's gonna help pack stack this break. And let's do it. Big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. Thursday the 5th, 2022 Bowman Baseball. Pick your team number four. Hobby Edition. We got a Jumbo Edition coming up right after this. Now, if you got a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler. So congrats. And here's Andrew with Last Spot Mojo. Got the Royals before we pulled all the teams out in that randomizer. So thanks everybody for getting into it, for making it happen, appreciate it. And there are the hobby boxes right there. Almost, I'm gonna grab one of those. And we'll get started here. Good luck everybody. Good luck. Thanks again, y'all. All right. I don't know, right, Jason? Just Rex just thinking about that. Envisioning scenarios. Be great. All right, what's going on in baseball today? Let's get let's get some score updates here. How are my picks doing today? Not very good. I need the Padres and I need Seattle. Are they helping me out right now? Padres are up 2-1 on the Marlins, bottom of the seventh. Let's go, Padres. Seattle not helping me out. They're down two in the top of the seventh. Come on. Come on, Robbie Ray, on my fantasy team. We're talking, we're talking contract year, guys. Yeah. He's looking like prime suspect number one here. Oh, no. Why did I draft him? <laughs> no, he's good, but I didn't draft him to have a 4.38 ERA, yeah. giving up four runs in 6.2 innings. I don't see any er errors for the Mariners, so I think these runs may have been earned. You know what's always my least favorite thing mm. is so the pitcher makes They're the error. earned runs, yeah. If the pitcher makes the error, right. it's still an unearned run. That's that's not. not. If the pitcher makes the error, it should be an earned run. It you should be an it. earned run, yeah. You did it. <laughs> right. It's your fault. I forgot that they would score it like that, huh? Yeah. It would be it's unearned. A bunch of baloney. Yeah. He's good, man, on Mike Zanina. Was an all-star last year. Yeah. Former Mariner. That's my favorite thing, seeing former Adams blow up after being traded away. <laughs> I forgot about the Zuninho revenge game. It's crazy. <laughs> Narrative. Hobby box number one. And remember, uh, as I think we know by now, no vet, no rookie paper, no prospect paper ships, only Bowman first paper ships. And obviously stuff like that will ship. Bowman first paper will ship. That's chrome, all chrome ships. And obviously inserts ship, numbered cards ship, paper number, chrome number. And that ships, Garrett Mitchell. Wow. That's a... Uh, an All America Under Armour All America baseball autograph. First time I've seen that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's from Anaheim. Is he yeah, a uh, is he a is he a fish? Or is he a pie? I'm blanking on. No, he's a brewer. That's right. That's right. He's a brewer. Oh no, yeah, he's a Milwaukee. I thought you were talking about high school. I don't know. I was just blanking on where Gary Mitchell goes. So Milwaukee Brewers, that's gonna be, it's gonna be May. It's Mark. Mark the I think so. 2020 first rounder and then last year was uh, South Freeland. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be Mark. Mm. 
So one auto per box on Hobby. There's Yorbit Vivas to 250. Purple Chrome for the Dodgers. That'll be for Han, who won the Dodgers nice in that one. filler. Now, did I upload that filler? No, I don't think I uploaded that filler. Stand by, folks. We're going to... No, oh, maybe I did. Isn't it that break right here? The Bowman free spot. Oh, I did upload it. Great. Nice. Good. Nice. All right, onwards. We got Purple Paper, Spencer Torkelson. I think a little bit of a slow start to his career, or to his major league career, but I'm sure he'll figure it out. The Tigers are not very good. They're in no rush. Yeah, they're in no rush. They'll give him as much time as he needs. And we got Joe Ryan to two ninety nine fuchsia paper. I think he's been making some starts. Yes. That goes That's to the Twins. Moment. Kenzie celebrating some outfield assist behind the plate. He's All right. Oh, guy. okay, okay. I like that. It's okay. Let the kids play, right? Let the kids play. Now, folks, we've seen some red parallels. We've seen a printing plate. One thing we haven't seen, is that two autos? That is a second That's auto. Andrew Lara. 270 out of 299 speckle auto oh, for Fred there. and the Nationals. That's a surprise. I thought we were done. No. So we got that Baseball Factory autograph. And then we've got a Bowman First autograph speckle. For the Nats, for Fred. There you go, Fred. Nice. Box one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Good start. And here's another box right here. Fuchsia Paper, Brady Allen to $2.99 for the fish. That's going to go to Mark, Mark N. And there's Jose Rodriguez, Refractor, for the Rangers. That'll be for Mark Mark B. Mark with a C. You got a Mark with a K, Mark with a C. Adley Rushman, Atomic. Chris, if you were in a, uh, if you were in Bowman, what kind of uh, if you were a hitter, 
position player, a non-pitcher, what kind of picture would you want? You want like a picture of like this, hidden like that? You want you want a full swing after you swing? You want to be in the field I'm thinking throwing? The field. You want to be in the field? I'm thinking in the field. There's Brett Beatty. You want to be on the base pass like Brett, Brett Beatty here? No, I don't think the base pass. Right you don't like the base pass? But I was actually Joe the Ivers best in the mix. pitching on the mound. Yeah, if you're a pitcher, what, maybe something like Jacob deGrom right here? Oh, yeah, definitely. Into the wind-up like that? That's pretty not, cool. I don't want full, uh, you know, ball leaving my hand either. No, the no, no. You, not ideal. You want, you want the initial part of the wind-up. Yeah. Yeah, like, like Aaron Ashby right here. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, something like that. What about you? I think if I was a, if I was a hitter... Now, if I was known as a defensive player, I would love to see some like, sort of diving catch, you know, shot. Maybe that's more stadium club. Though. You see, you see more middle infield, so I would. Say, yeah, I'd definitely be like a second baseman. I'm saying like a, like a Robinson Cano esque throw across the body. Yeah, I, I could I can go with that. Or charging a ball bare hands, it's always a good one. Nice die cut. One, yeah. For the Phillies, that'll be that for number? Fred. I don't think. So. Oh, it is. 11 out of 49, it's gold, gold numbering against the gold. Makes it a little hard to see, but nice die cut there. You are Sir Garcia for the Phillies. That'll be for Fred. Like, you like this Nick Madrigal? Like he's like he's, he's crouching, but he's got a big leg kick right there. Choked up, Tim. Yeah, yeah he's ready to hit. I kind of like this, the one where you're, you're, just, you're leaving the box. just leaving the box. I kind of like that shot. I would if I'm hitting hitting if I was like a like a bopper I would want like follow through on the swing after like a home run yeah those those are cool back pointed out wherever the ball is hitting kind of like this or maybe something like Elijah Tatis is kind of saying hey calling calling time to the uh, yeah or Freddie right there that's same the time right there. yeah that's a good that's a good shot that's at Dodger Stadium one of the best intentions you know and I like that I like the, like the sort of bat that kind of over the yeah. the border right there is great and there's Luca. Tresh, Bowman first autograph for Kansas City. Andrew, last spot mojo. Diego, what would you want? What does everyone want? Let's open it up to the group. <laughs> you would want your, you would want yours to be getting your hand checked for substances. Ah, the well, Bad Bum special. I mean, that's got to be a tops now. That's <laughs> got to be super I wanna, short print. I want to see for, that tomorrow. Uh, tops now. Super tops short now cards. For series two. Yeah, yeah, or like a stadium club variation if or something like that. If Trey Turner's stadium club photo is not the slide, yeah. I'm going to be very upset. And if that card is not auto, or if he's not auto on the checklist, I'm going to be mad that, as well. That's an out, right? Yeah. That looks like I'm an not out. I'm pleased about that one. That looks like an out. Like, why would you do this? This is Will Wagner just swung and missed right there. Maybe he's that, one off. That's his baseball card. Yeah, he's just like, dang. That's my, that's my Bowman first. Or would you want to do uh, a little bit unconventional? I remember, uh, I think uh, Shailene Polanco has a on a knee, bat on the bat on the knee as well. Oh, the the, the that, those are like the old school portrait cards. Pedro Pineda, he's got a two ninety nine. Adrian Segesti for the Orioles. Tomoya. That's a fun one, you know. Yeah, the one in the the staged ones are pretty fun sometimes. The stage photos always remind me of heritage. <laughs> right. Fake swings, you know, fake throwing the fake pitching on the mound, or whatever. Right. It's almost like a like a high school photo where oh, like yeah. you've got your hands underneath your uh, your chin on, on a baseball bat or something like that. My brother, when he was a senior, and three of his three of his best friends, they're all a little goofy. Even though my brother was pretty talented, uh, the four of them all have their high school group picture, all in uniform or whatever, on the field right around the man, but uh, bats. Pointed upwards from a certain position. I see. I see. All four of my parents and the other three uh -huh. parents, not too pleased. Not too pleased. Shockingly enough, for the not too olds, not uh, too pleased to to imply that the bats were were a, a were, were phallic. An instrument. An instrument. In correct. In more than one way. In more than one way. So they were not pleased with that innuendo. No, not quite. You know. Fifteen-year-old Chris, hilarious. Hilar I mean. Atomic. On card? Yeah, Atomic on card. Robert Dominguez, Atomic Auto, 66 out of 100. That goes to the Mets. That'll be for Joe Ivers. 
who I believe is a Mets guy. Diego would love for a Topps card with Altuve fouling the ball into his into his private area. His bathing suit area. Yeah, his his, his special place. Popular in the past yeah, I do. Years. I like them too, especially when they're quick to get like an iconic moment out. Nice. Twenty-one out of twenty-five. Martin Jimenez, orange paper, Blue Jays. That'll be for Fred with the with the free spot that he got. Now, to my knowledge, Hobby only has orange, right? Yes. Luke Waddle, Aqua Shimmer to one seventy-one twenty-five. Leo and the Braves. I remember the first Top Snow card I saw was 2018 World Series Juan Soto mm. in the home run carrying the bat to first base. Like that's like an iconic photo. Too. Yeah. And it's a Top Snow card, online exclusives or whatever it is. You know, if they if they put all the Top Snow cards that they've made up to date in like a book, oh that'd be fun. I would kind of I would think I would buy that. You know, if it's they're just, I don't know. I don't know. It would be like a coffee table book. No, definitely. Maybe the size of a of a mini card. You know, of a mini yeah. card, and those would be like the pictures, and just be like a little caption. They should have it styled. I don't know how they would do it, but they should have it stylized so it looks like a binder. Sure. Yeah, I take that. You know, because I'd, I'd I'd be like, where are all the tops now? Is that we're done? Exactly. I think it's really funny that Target of all places. Or like, or like make it like a yearbook. Do every year oh, they should yeah. have the yearly. You know, when did they first do it? 2018 is when they first started? I Maybe so. a year before? Somewhere around there? Yeah. So do like yearbooks. So Diego, that's top, that's top Steam Club material right there. Like, unironic, that's a very good one. Just poses. Yeah, though, well. though, that's good. That's great for Stadium Club for sure. Like, Buxton's going to be, it should be him celebrating that huge walk off of Ernie hit. A couple weeks, so like four sixty or something like that. Like, yeah, bat, bat flying into the air. That's Colson nice Montgomery, one. twenty-five out of seventy-five. White Sox, Dusty with the White Sox. Like, I feel like he just he just ripped that down the right oh, field yeah. line right there. That's a, that's a double. Yeah, that's a that's a double sure. down the line. But, trust me, you can get me talking about Stadium Club literally all day. That's that's my favorite yeah. right there. I do like Stadium Club. The photography is excellent there. That's what I was saying the other day to him, actually, Rex. He needs to get crazy with it. Right. I don't know if Thomas has the patience for that. I think Thomas has enough personality to make that work, though. Unlike some of these, I mean, I don't know. I don't know any of these players. I don't know, but... but I, I can't imagine any of them are like, yeah, I'll mess around with a few I don't know. Of them. Uh, until until Thomas is on like autograph a thousand, he's just like I don't want to do this anymore. Unless I mean, unless he does it for like the out of fives autographs or something yeah, like exactly. that, or the out of color tens. Only. Yeah, color only, not not base autos, right? Bryce Harper. He went Paper. Too, yeah. yeah, I saw that. Big home run for him. Saw, saw a lot happened that game. Yeah, it was, like, was not enough, though. I think that, that Philly's bullpen has always been sort of their their weak spot in the last couple years. Only on oranges, Rex. On, on Jaspi Orange. Right, that's true. Only on Jaspi Orange.
We got Luke Waddle, paper to four ninety nine. And there's our autograph, Jack Sawinski. Bowman first auto for the Buckos. Chad with the Pirates. The Luke Waddle goes to Leo and the Braves. box half a box and then the other half right, there's Otani great day for him could Otani win two in a row I think two MVPs in a row it's gonna come down to voter fatigue I mean if he does what he does last year, even a little bit less, I mean, there's no world where he's not the MVP every single year. Right, right. Especially if the Angels are in the playoffs. Winners. Yeah. But, I, mean, I think he could win a second one if they're division winners. There's Brandon Davis to 199. Fuchsia, Lava, your second round pick. One of the Cubs' top prospects. We'll see him relatively soon as well. I think and, so. Uh, yeah. Ed Howard. That's for the Cubbies. Albert with the Cubs. There you go, Albert. Here in hobby number four. Yeah, I mean, LeBron should have won arguably every MVP of the last year. Yeah, I guess you I could mean, argue I would say that. from like 2010 to 2015. Chris Ricker, what's going on? How are you? See, with, I mean, Giannis now, I mean, there's kind of no world right. where Giannis shouldn't have like four MVPs. People get tired of excellence. Right. I think it's boring. They want, they want more narratives. There's like, here's Josh Donaldson hit a ton of home runs in September. Now he's the MVP. Mike Trout has two more war than him on yeah, the year. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We like home runs. Voters dig the long ball. Baseball I mean, writers of America dig the long ball. Right before the, the season got put on hold in the NBA in 2020, LeBron was at like 10 to 1 odds to win the MVP, and he was red hot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And speaking of narrative, we... Colson won. Montgomery. That's a nice one. Nice box here for the Sox. Dusty, White Sox. Nice break here. Uh, I mean, he was 10 to 1 odds, and the Lakers were rolling, and it was right after Kobe passed. First round pick. They were they're doing this whole, like, right. putting it for Kobe type deal. I'm like, right. oh, the voters are going to love this. Any ancestors from Maine? Not that I know of. I actually know nothing about My old man was adopted. I actually have no idea what his, his blood is. My mother uh, is half Japanese, a quarter Italian, and a quarter Croatian. Uh, well, Edward Quero to 150. No idea. It could happen though. How was Maine? Oh. <laughs> oh, Chris, the other, Monica, the Chris in the chat. When I was in middle school, I was one of eight Chris's. Wilman Diaz, in my class. purple paper. How, how did they set you apart? It was just like was, Crispy and Chris. I was, no, I was not even that. I was just Brower. Oh, if gotcha. If someone from my middle school sees me now, they, they just it's went not last. Even they Chris. just went last name. They were Brower only. I got you. I got Teachers, you. students, classmates. That's all, all I right. was. People. First half, second half. Good luck. LV Marte, number 71 on the Bowman Top 100. You think people must make sets of this, right? The Bowman Top 100. Oh, yeah. They had a cool photo of uh, Bobby Witt Jr. Remember his Bowman first? Yeah. He was in the field, his gloves outstretched, and the ball was right where the Bowman logo yeah, was. Perfect. I thought that was a really cool, really cool design. They know what they're doing. Put some thought into that. There's Eduardo Vaughn. 
186 out of 499 Bowman first refractor autograph for Mike. Mike C with that one. Number 41, Red Talk Prospect or Courtney Fan Graphs. I see Red Sox when I see Vaughn. He's not related to Mo Vaughn, is he? No, I don't think so. I think he's from he's from uh, Panama. I don't think Mo Vaughn's. Uh, I don't think Mo Vaughn's. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he is either. Pretty cool though. But it makes me feel even older. As, uh, whose kid is going to get drafted first this year? Uh, Lighter? No. Um, no, I think I think you're right. Yeah, someone. It's not even from like the the wit generation or the lighter generation. It's from like another generation. That's now finally they're like they're getting drafted now too. Dark TV. Have you watched any of the Apple TV baseball broadcasts, Chris? Um, Have I asked you this? Just clips on shoot. Well, no, we haven't talked about it. No. I think, uh, from what I've seen, I think the UI, um, I mean, Apple stuff will always look pretty good, but that in particular, I think it looks great. Yeah. Like, the ticker and everything, else looks awesome. Right. The score bug is, is, yeah. is great. Yeah. It's very Apple, but, I mean, they, half of their budget goes into what everything looks like, so. Yeah, the uh, the broadcasters need a little more seasoning. Yeah, it's tough, man. There's Austin Hendrick to 150, blue chrome. Mark Bissett and the Reds. Um, who do, who who does uh? Intentional talking to Steven Nelson, right? Yeah. So one of the broadcasting teams is Steven Nelson, Katie Nolan, and Hunter Pence. I don't know if Hunter Pence is a good color guy. Yeah, well, and I don't know. And the, the three-man booth is a little weird, too, because, you know, if it was just Steven Nelson and Katie Nolan, I think it would have been fine. Or if it was just Steven Nelson doing play-by-play, -play, and if it was him and Hunter Pence... But the third wheel really feels like a third wheel sometimes, because yeah. like Katie Noel will be like silent for like innings, you know, but doesn't really get to put her personality into anything. I mean, or Hunter Pence like interjects stuff and it's, it just sounds weird. Or I, I mean, that's how I feel about the the YouTube broadcast, the YouTube TV broadcasts. I think are horrible. Yeah, the audio it, mixing is always really bad. And I right. forgot who it was. I watched. I think it was a Cardinals game because it had to be. It's gonna. It was Brewers Cardinals a couple. It was this past year. And it was Matt Holiday talking to Adam Wainwright, and like other mm. the other two guys are trying to like talk to Wainwright, like, "Hey, you're having a great year, you know." This Garrett Cole coming back for one more year with Yachty, all this stuff, and you know they would ask like genuine, interesting questions, and Matt Holiday is doing bits like, uh, <laughs> "Oh, 2009, a uh, Guitar Hero tournament." I'm like, "Can you shut up?" Right. I don't know. I I I think a lot of times. Yeah, I feel like that's a mistake. They, they'll put like three or four people together and you're like, that yeah. doesn't work for a broadcast. Like, Just because you can get some guys yeah. who played relatively recently who have retired and you think maybe good, I just, they're not. No. Right, because you think, oh, we'll get an insight into the locker room, but they can't really just, you know, be like they're really players, you know, and they're not professional broadcasters either. It's a little weird. Yeah. So, which, which brings me to, um, Apple might get Sunday ticket. Have you heard about this? Yeah. Uh, Ooh, nice. Josh Baez. Nice. 34 out of 50. Gold Shimmer. Bowman first autograph for the Cardinals. That's going to be for Greg. Animal Central having a very nice break. Yeah, second round pick. Number seven Cardinals prospect. According to Baseball America. Supposed to be really good.
But Sunday ticket would be crazy. So you, would everything be over the Apple TV app? That's gotta be, right? That's kind of crazy to think about. There's Spencer Torkelson vibrations insert atomic parallel to 150. 86 out of 150. Which is being kind of weird. So does that mean like at the Vegas sports book when they want to play football games, they're putting up Apple TV? Apple TV, yeah. Wow. That's got that's gotta be that's gotta be a nightmare for for live betting. Because isn't wouldn't there just be naturally a, a delay? Yeah. That's when you're streaming. I don't know, man. There's a Relvis Martinez to two ninety nine, fuchsia paper for the Blue Jays, Fred. Uh, the California sports betting. Yeah. Position officially go for November. Right. Which one is it? I think it came down to two, right? That got the requisite ball or the 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 signatures to be yeah, on the ballot. Yes, that's the one. So they got the signatures. It's officially on the ballot for November. So we will be voting on it. Will there be two, or is it just one? I think it's just the one. Okay, I so we're wrong though. Don't quote me. No, I got I got to look at it too, because there was one that was like. There was one that included mobile betting, basically, and uh, one that yeah. didn't. One that was just exclusive to Native American casinos. I think that's the one. I think it's, it's like Fanduel's and, and all. Oh, but yeah, it's, the second one was the one that that had them partner with Fanduel or DraftKings in order to, um, in order to let people go mobile as well, not just going to the booth. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm voting yes on that. I just. Good. Good. I mean, I kind of don't want to. Uh... Well, I've heard not that I do this, Chris. Yeah. Of not that I do this, but I've heard that people use offshore books to bet yeah. on sports. That's yeah. terrible. That's terrible. That's American tax dollars going overseas. Who would do that? Uh, who would do that? Degenerates, Chris. That's Degenerates. Who. That's we're not all, something I would ever do. We're a, we're a clean, family-run, family-owned right. organization of right. business. Right. And I want to do things the legal way. Yeah. You know, there's Ronnie Mauricio, green paper, 99. But I've heard some people, yeah. not me, some people, will put their money into an offshore book in a very shady way. I mean, they're, they're yeah. giving up personal information to have their yeah. accounts there, moving around Bitcoin, you know, doing That's all sorts. That's not something any of us No, here. no. I want to put, you know, because a lot of the tax dollars coming from uh, the sports wagering thing in California will go to address the... Uh, the housing crisis which in California, great, which needs, is a good thing. Need to address it. I'd be glad. I'm happy to help. Yeah, that's you know. I, no, that's that's my that's what my I would want my tax dollars. To exactly, not to some shady offshore. No, no in no. like a Caribbean island or something like that. There's Khalil Watson Another nice refractor one. autograph to four ninety nine. Good yeah, for, mid first round pick right there too. Really good case so far. Number twenty seven overall prospect, not just organizational yeah. prospect, overall prospect. Another guy for the Marlins, man. Yeah. Marlon's just racking up prospects here. Uh, Mark with a K. With the fish. Nice one, Mark. Kim N, man. She's a super genius. Yeah, she really is. I wish the Dodgers would have kept her. I, we were actually just talking about that, Mike and myself. She's a... Uh, I mean, she's a crap fan. There's right Kelvin DeCastro to 125. That is for the Bluebirds. Fred with the Blue Jays. There's Darren Baker. Dusty Baker's kid. That's right, yeah. Again, just, here we go. Keep on going. So Dusty Baker won his 2000th game the other day. Apparently, I saw in SportsCenter, his son hit a walk-off in like a double-A game or yeah. single-A game the same night. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. 2,000 games, and even though some managing some pretty bad teams. Oh, yeah. Time, that, that Giants run, I think, really helped him. Yeah. And those, I mean, people forget, but that 2010 to 2014 Red squad, real good. Quato. Matt yeah, Lee, actually, Mike Lee, Joey Votto, MVP, no, you're, you're Jake not, Bruce, you're Brandon not wrong, Phillips. Not wrong. There's uh, Norhe Vera. Nice. 20 out of 50. Damn. Gold. Seriously, what a case. 
There you go. Number four, White Sox organizational prospect. Another big one, yeah. Right there. That's another one for Dusty and the Chicago White Sox. Good number, good autos. saying that we should uh, be expecting a, a one of one or anything, but you know, I think another low dig single digit number. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. It's all. Just trying to blow it into existence as well. All right, another box down. Few more boxes to go. One, two, three, three four. four. All right, all right, we're getting there. Looking like perfect timing for me too. I have a, I have an appointment. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. I have right. a doctor's appointment at ten <laughs> ten. At the <laughs> AMC Rolling Hills twenty. Gotcha, gotcha. I I hear you. What are what's happening? At the, strange. God, that that that's out already. That comes out. Midnight I mean, tonight, or tonight, late I, showings? I had a friend, I have a friend in New York, he saw this movie at 3.10 p.m. Wow. Noon here. Just doesn't seem like that should be, that should happen, you know? What, um, well, the, the critics appear to be saying that it's incredible. What did your friend say, my without friend, giving anything away? My friend said, and I will paraphrase, with the, without the expertise. Ooh, but first... Nice. James Triantos, Chicago Cubs, Atomic Variation Refractor Parallel. It should be to 100 or 150, something yeah. like that. That goes to Albert and the Cubbies. There you go, Albert. Jeez, what is happening? Oh, he's here. Uh, he said that this movie is insane. Wow. Like in a good way. In a good way, yes. Very well, I do. I do enjoy the Doctor Strange character. You know, I was Cumberbatch does a good job. I, I was not pleased with him in his solo debut, but no, seeing him in other stuff with other people, I think he gets to bounce off with a, the boy is a very good uh, straight man in a lot of comedic situations, so I think he, uh, Here's Ronald's brother, Luis Angel Acuna, to 299, Speckle for Texas, Mark. And Ronnie is particularly high on him, I mean, it's the brother thing, but right. he's... Pretty good. Same he with does, Juan Soto's does, does he do the old oh Luis and Hell's much better than me thing? Yeah, but I mean most of the time, at least in the last decade or so, that seems to be the case. Can what, you imagine if Luis and Hell Acuna is better than Ronald, Ronald Acuna? Acuna. Who, who had like a 30 30 season like in his first year, first yeah. or second year? Should have had a 40 40 season in right. 2020 and yeah. Jeez. 2019. Yes, I. I'm very excited. I he's not in the public eye enough anymore, and I've always thought that he's a very talented guy. It's 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 exciting. I like Mike Myers a lot. What's the, what's the show going to be about? There's Michael I Escoto. To, I don't quite know. I don't watch any trailers for anything anymore. I don't want to be spoiled on things. But ah, I see. It's a Mike Myers project. And he doesn't really have, hasn't had one of those. No, he yet. really had not an original project anymore. Anyway. No, not in a long, long time. And no one wants him to, like, recycle Austin Powers and stuff like that. It's, he's kind of, I, mean, I, I don't want to see it. on Shrek money. Right. And that, good, for oh, that, that, good for him, man. That was a good project. Shrek is an Academy Award winning movie. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, I, I was just looking it up with a friend last night. That Shrek is the first ever best animated feature Oscar winner. It beat uh, Monsters Inc. and something else. It's gonna, it's gonna kill me. It beat Monsters Inc. I mean, what usually, usually like movie? Disney Pixar just rolls through those yeah. category that category. They weren't particular losers for best animated feature for a long time, but they would kill on original score and original song. Like they like like Aladdin. It's like. There are four Aladdin songs out of five for best original song. Right. And yeah. show you a, a whole new world wins. Like that. And then one best original score too. Like that stuff. Lion King, Circle of Life. Uh, there's, 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 there was just no... Com I mean, there are good songs, but there's just no other competition. Nah. For Disney post movies? Nah. Yeah, Mike Myers. I think the last thing I remember seeing him in 
He's a, a very brief cameo for a minute. He's the English uh, like military leader and in Glorious Bastard. Glorious Bastard. Bastard. I was yeah. just going to say that. That's the last thing I remember yeah. him in, too. Canadian, but his parents are English, right? Yeah. Is that why he? Yeah, because he always has a great British accent. Yes. He always does an English accent quite well. There's Yoswar Garcia. That's for Philadelphia. That's for Fred with the spot that he won. You know, in a, a different. That's right. Yeah, he was the. Uh, you never. This isn't gonna make it. Oh, I didn't. I I haven't seen Bohemian Rhapsody actually. I. I think the technical stuff in that movie is incredibly impressive. That's it. I just went on a big spiel about this to a friend that I'm never really impressed with actors or actresses who play people who have been in the public eye very, very recently. Like, Remy Malk is a good actor, but you get some fake teeth and you do a British accent and you win Best Actor. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm sick of that stuff. Right, there, there was also a, there was also a string of, uh, there was also a string of actresses, very good-looking actresses who would just get uglied up in a movie, and then they'd win like best actress. Uma Thurman, not Uma Thurman. Um, there oh was uh, Charlize, Charlize, Charlize Theron in Monster. Halle Berry was in was... that other movie. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think he he has crazy range, and like I think he plays serious very well. Like, he doesn't have to be the, like, jumping off the wall doing... Pentagon is about five most wealthy people in the world running the entire world. Okay, that's interesting. What, is it a dr dra dramedy? Like, what's the what's the genre supposed to be? I would say maybe somewhat satirical. From, from like, gotcha, I think he's gotcha. A smart guy. I think he can do Not an outright a comedy, comedy, though, too. right? There's Otto Lopez. Yeah, I kind of like that idea of that little black comedy. Yeah. Otto Lopez, Purple Paper for Fred and the Blue Jays. We got Makai Backstrom to four ninety nine. For the Braves, Leo. OT. And Colorado. Wow. Rex is saying one nice. of those atomic Triantos redemptions. Redemption sold for $1,000. Nice. There's Dustin Harris. Dustin the win. Nice. A lot of 150. Blue Lava for Tejas. That's for Mark. Mark B. Dynamite TNT. That's Tony Hawk for a skater force in there. It's like the intro song. Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know any other band who can do the same song oh my God, over and over ridiculous. again, but still be like, "Yeah, I love all their." <laughs> it's like it's like every ACDC song is pretty much the same as each other. It's but you're kind of like, but you're kind of like this is also something I listen to Especially a lot. Especially that the Scott Bonham era too, before he yeah. tragically passed away. Yeah, it was a lot of like, bam, 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 yeah. riffs, and then doom, 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 and then the right. uh, doom, doom, doom. It's all the same bass yep. line. Yep. It's all the same riffs, but but yet I'll I'll listen Angus, to it. Angus worked on solos, and uh, you know Malcolm has a pretty decent basses as well. I guess in yeah. the same lines. Okay. And then it's just those lyrics, man. So yeah. Yeah. Scott Palmer was a hell of a lyricist. It was Jesse Winker to three ninety nine Reds edition. That'll be for Mark B. Hippie saying, ACDC, yeah. great drunk music, not so much if great, sober. Great sporting event music. Yeah, yeah, how or like, many, or maybe driving music. I'll, I'll listen to the, I'll listen to the Akadaka when, when I'm uh, driving, driving fast, windows down. They have a, an awesome live album when they're in Barcelona. You know, um, the early 90s ACDC live album. Yeah. Is pretty incredible. It's, it's awesome. It's like an all time timer. Yeah, that's one of those all time live albums. There's Ronier uh, Quintero, Lava. 
But yeah, when they do like Thunderstruck at the beginning, and then yeah. the, just the crowd is like, na 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 thunder. I mean, that gets you fired up. Yeah. That gets you fired up. They're doing away before the show starts, and it blends into them. Yeah, doing yeah, it, yeah, like yeah. And there's Ryan Bliss. Andrew with the Diamondbacks. There you go, your number 14 Diamondbacks prospect. Second round pick for the Snakes. Uh, have you ever been bitten by a snake, Chris? No, thank God. Okay. I don't want I, I don't want that for you or I. Thanks. Assuming you have not? I have not. I have not. I'm not even, not even close. I don't go outside enough to warn you. Not that even close. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's best to stay indoors. Avoid right. snake bites. Trust me, I agree. I'm an indoor kid through and through. Yeah, you know? I'm trying to Rattlesnake's win. usually not inside. I'm trying to win a super lotto and just mm. buy a few homes, property, okay. To go okay. and just live in a, essentially live out of a cabin. Right. In the middle of nowhere and right, buy right, right. the most insane. I might become I, I might become a yacht guy if if I end up if I end up winning a lottery here. There's Benny Montgomery to two ninety nine. Benny bombs. That's a good one. When do you uh, when do you usually start buying uh, lottery tickets? And at what amount? When people start talking about it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, well, I guess I should buy one too, just in case. I usually, when it hits about $200 million is when I usually start investing. Yeah. Good call. All right. That's half of last box, and this is the second Excellent. Box. Thank you, Chris, okay. very much. Perfect timing. Appreciate it. Yeah, excellent timing. All right. uh, off you go. Enjoy the, uh, uh, enjoy the strange. Yes. Enjoy the doctor's appointment. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of content coming out. They got the Obi Wan series at the end of the month too. Top Moon Gun too. Last night. I gotta wa I gotta catch up on Moon Knight. I gotta catch up on Winning Time. Gotta start watching Barry. Yeah, I got, Kenobi next month. Uh, I think Miss Marvel is also. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right that's happening the corner, too. Which will lead into the, Cap the Marvels, Captain Marvel two, which will Thor, then Guardians, so then the Guardians holiday special. Guardians of the Galaxy coming out this year. I'm pretty sure. I think they're late. Especially, yeah. The Mandalorian maybe, series by the end of the year, Ahsoka maybe, by the next year. Maybe the unannounced Halloween special. Get a little weird with some people. Get get weird. What what about I'll Top be there, Gun? Diego, trust me. What about Top Gun Two? What do you what do you feel about Top Gun Two? <laughs> what about Top Gun Two? <laughs> I mean, we're watching it, right? It's my dad's favorite movie of all time. Is it really? I've, Top never, Gun. I've never seen it. <laughs> well, this could be a good. Uh, Good time to watch. Might be it. a fun watch, you know. I have the it's it's Very, so, uh, very campy. There's 22 out of 25. O'Neill Cruz. That's, nice That's for the Pirates. He's a yep, he is. He can bop. I have to watch Picard. No, I'm no no Star, Star Trek's for nerds, Rex. Yeah, true. That's what Chris said too. Yeah, Star Trek's for nerds. Not like, not like, Lord of the Rings. Rings of Power coming out here? Or Star Wars. Star Wars, not for nerds. <laughs> card. I, card. No, one, no one watches that Star Trek nonsense. All right, second half. And then we're done. And then a jumbo case coming up after this. All right, thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. See ya. Yeah, definitely.
Yeah, that's right, Jason. When do, when does Picard streams? Wait, no one cares. It's what is on Paramount Plus. Who watches Paramount Plus? There's Michael Escoto. Yeah, if it was worth anything, Disney would have brought bought the Star Star Trek properties, but no, they didn't. They're like pass. Let's focus on good content. If they stop making Star Wars, pocket protectors and taper glass sales will plummet. Shows how much you know, Rex, because the one thing Star Trek people do say is that, oh, Star Trek is based on more science than anybody. Star, Star Wars is, uh, Star Wars is not real. They don't even obey the laws of physics in Star Trek, Star Wars, but Star Trek definitely rooted in science. Yeah. So, who's the nerd now, Rex? Trekkies are the nerds. They're the ones buying pocket protectors and masking tape for their glasses. Tyler Whitaker, 102 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph. <laughs> I know, hippie spinach. But we appreciate you dealing with us, youngins. All right. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. That was uh, 2022 Bowman Baseball, 12 box, hobby case, pick your team number four. Quick little recap here. That's a nice hit. Appreciate everybody watching. That's a nice hit. They're all nice hits. A little bit of color here. Some excellent stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. May the force be with you. Bye-bye.